with another great moments in harness racing. Delvin Miller, Hall of Famer with us. Delvin, uh, you've sold many horses in your lifetime, and I understand you've sold uh, three or four over to Russia. I sold four great stallions to Russia, and one of them turned that I raced at the Hamiltonian, I think I was 3-2-2 two, two with them, low Hanover, turned out to be the best stallion over there because they crossed them with their Orloff breed and some of the former trotting ones that they had imported from the United States before the war. Did you ever drive in Russia? No, I was scheduled to. When I got there the wrong day, I was on a ship in Leningrad, flew over for it and said, Mr. Miller, you're to drive tomorrow. And I, my ship was leaving with Mary Lib that next morning, and I had to get back to Leningrad. Did you have the opportunity to see some racing over there? Yes, and they uh, really gave me a good... No, I didn't get to see any racing. I saw them training and got up and drove a horse mm -hmm. on the track. And there was a lady there that knew all the Kate. And see, the Americans all trained for the czars. The Hippodrome was, the racetrack was built by the czars. And this uh, film you're going to see, I think it's a little, there's a little bit of propaganda in that. Okay, let's take a look at the Hippodrome racetrack in Moscow. At the Hippodrome racetrack in Moscow, uh, a lot of people, family affairs, everybody would come out. Oh, yes, they're still racing there, and they have good racing. They, they brought a couple over to the... Uh, International at Roosevelt, you know, they didn't do any good, but they race some of the places in Europe today. From the footage we see, it uh, looks like they drive all over the racetrack. Yes, but they was, some of the drivers left there in the revolution, like Alexander Finn, came and was the greatest, was the greatest uh, driver in uh, Europe. Won the Prix de a couple times with Musseltone. The Hippodrome in Moscow.